So we are good right now. I, I guess we can start. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's an important time now. It's an anniversary. It's always nice to put things in a perspective and look at the story behind. So we did prepare our iQuest um, commerce and transportation story to share with you. And everything started a long time ago, more than 15 years ago, with Virgin Atlantics. It's a big name. And what we did, it was the airline commerce platform and we did software services, which is an ongoing business in iQuest, and it's going very well. But it's using many times technologies that are custom made for our customers. In the same time, we are addressing also the uh, railway industry with a rail distribution solution. But every time we have to think what's the end of the life cycle of those technologies and what's the future. So these projects are currently running, so we are still doing the rail distribution solution. But in parallel, following the company strategy, we are facing now an integration business that exposes us to many industries and new technologies that offer a wide variety of integration, easy to use um, um, gadgets that you will see later. So, Partnering with a digital uh, commerce leader, SAP Hybris, open us um, the commerce integration window. And we start doing booking engine solutions, POCs, e-shops, e-cares for a wide variety of uh, clients, from retail to telco to travel and so on. So all this knowledge that we are building up in the software services and integration, they ended up in a product that we are proudly sharing with you today, uh, running SAP Commerce, and we branded IQ Railway. So how we ended up here, and what we noticed is that railway businesses are facing more or less the same challenges than any other business that goes through the digital commerce transformation. And there are many vanilla commerce platforms on the market that are very strong, reliable, but do they actually answer all the business processes required for these companies or for these industries? And the railway specifics, especially when we think about it, they don't just sell products, they sell journeys. They, sh they have um, dynamic pricing, they address their customers way differently than a telco or a retail company. Then how to put everything in a customer-centric way, which is the key nowadays to have the customer engagement. But of course, we are here and it's very lucky for them because we are also experts in technology and they are facing a lot of technical limitations. Speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, so let's... Uh, talk right now about technical challenges uh, which we can meet uh, in the process of uh, digital transformation. Uh, I will talk more precisely about railway segments, uh, but you can apply those rules to any other uh, industry as well. Uh, so, uh, so, so we, are, we are meeting a lot of legacy systems. Uh, they are old, uh, they are pretty segmented, uh, and uh, the worst thing about this is the fact that uh, all of the sales channels are pretty disconnected. Uh, this is because our, our approach uh, is about using modern uh, and, and mature technologies in order to solve those needs. Uh, so, for example, for e-commerce uh, capabilities, we are using uh, SAP Hybrids as our e-commerce platform. Uh, this gives us a lot of flexibility, uh, also uh, rapidness in terms of time to market, uh, but the best thing is uh, about the fact that we are able to connect to any uh, sales channel that we want. Uh, that gives us, uh, so no, no matter which customer uh, is using our system, it can, uh, no matter on which channel customer is using our system, it can be web, it can be mobile or chatbot, uh, customer meets the same experience. Sure. What we prepared for you today are some glimpses of what we do 
And uh, this is the journey booking using one of these channels, and it's the web channel. It's a short movie that will introduce you to what customer engagement means, and also what is um, our approach when, um, yes, it's running, when a customer would just like to uh, purchase and plan his journey. So you can see here that he is selecting his preferred journey. He has multiple options. He's choosing the one fits his calendar, of course, chooses the best price in the context of uh, connecting trains in this um, matter, uh, and also first class, second class, any time. So the flexibility we are offering. Besides uh, tickets, we introduce the ancillary concept, additional products that the customer may buy during plan while planning his trip. So in this case, we chose a standard meal. And as you can see, it all has the commerce flavor. It adds everything in, uh, here it's a seat reservation, it adds everything in its cart, the cart concept, with an overview of whatever the customer is purchasing. Of course, you have payment information. It's the same flow in any commerce uh, experience with an integration with, with a payment provider that you see here and the possibility to have your own account to access all your bookings, all your orders, all the purchase that you made. In this case, we purchased a ticket with a seat reservation and an ancillary. <coughs> it's fast, it's easy, it's uh, electronically ticket that you can have on your mobile, that you can print it, of course, if you want, and it has the security features of a QR code, and of course, your uh, details like name and so on. So this is what we want to show you when we meant this is one of the channels, but there are many other channels that you will see later on. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we are switching to next uh, our, of our feature sit map. Uh, so the golden rule uh, of developing any feature in the product is about making things uh, as generic as possible. And one of those examples is for sure sit map. Uh, so, sitmap framework allows you to dynamically render uh, sitmap out of uh, smaller pieces. Uh, we are using vector graphics for this. Uh, for that specific case of a train, uh, you can see it here, uh, we are rendering the uh, sitmap of the train out of uh, locomotive piece, uh, wagons pieces, and of course seats. The cool things about this uh, framework is the fact that we can render any type of sitmap. We can render uh, cinema, we can render airplay, or, or you know, sky is the limit. Uh, yeah, so this is more like uh, how, how, it's, how it's looking like. Mm -hmm. So what we actually saw is that when you make a seat reservation, you want to have that flexibility to choose, to see where you are going to be seated. It's the same also in a cinema or in a concert. Exactly, and uh, the best thing is that this framework allows you to uh, integrate with any backend system pretty easily. Yeah. Moving next to the back office. So we were talking about the experience to the end customers, but nowadays many companies are facing how their own employees can uh, monitor, can configure their systems. And uh, SAP Hybris comes not only with sales channels, but with a very powerful back office. And what we did, we transformed this vanilla commerce look into very railway specific. And as you can see, we added this service network with like stations, train types, configuration um, widgets, all these to ease the work of their employees. And so far, the feedback is very good. So we are on a very good track here. Uh, yeah, so right now, uh, I would like to move to the features that we released uh, quite recently. Uh, so I guess every of us uh, here uh, know some buzzwords like uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, or, or data science. <laughs> Uh, if it goes about data science, uh, yeah, uh, our, our reporting solution goes into an action. 
Uh, so this is uh, <laughs> some very high level view of uh, how our reporting platform is uh, working. Uh, so our first box is about uh, some backend system uh, which is responsible for sending some business events. Uh, in our case it's SAP Hybris, but it can be uh, any other uh, backend platform. Uh, then uh, we have Apache Kafka, uh, which is responsible, uh, uh, so Apache, this is Apache Kafka cluster, responsible for uh, getting huge amount of, of business events from backend system. Uh, last uh, element is about uh, Elasticstack, uh, which is uh, responsible for, for getting those data, simplified data from Apache Kafka, uh, indexing it and uh, putting in very nice uh, form. Uh, this is some, some, some uh, demo of uh, the cap capabilities that our uh, reporting platform gives. Uh, so, mm, as you may see, uh, there is, uh, you, you can create any type of visualization you want. You can create a pie chart, bar chart, uh, you can create some uh, uh, real-time statistics. What is the huge benefit of this platform is the fact that a business user is able to, uh, so despite the big amount of data that this system is able to, to, to get, business user is able to see any changes in charts in the real-time. Uh, so because of this, uh, he is able to, to see the real-time changes and react accordingly in the, in the system. And we are talking about uh, um, relevant information like total revenue, how many passengers you have per sp specific segment, which trains are heavily loaded and take some decisions, change prices, adapt, put yeah, more so trains so in service. Exactly. Th this is the clue. Th this, is, this is like a very specific uh, example but we can, you can adapt it to any other industry. So, so, so this is the case. This is, you have everything in the box, you just need to fill it with the proper data. And now, looking towards the future, which is actually happening now, uh, you may hear over and over again about conversational commerce, about Amazon Alexa, about chatbots. So we did also this part, and we prepared for you a video with the help of one of our colleagues that is here, you may recognize her later. So let's watch it together a second. Alexa, what are you with? Hello, let's plan your trip. Where are you traveling from? From Zurich. Where would you like to travel to? Bar. When would you like to leave? Tomorrow. How many people will be traveling? Just one. Please, wait a moment. I am searching the best option for you. All done. Yeah. What, yeah, what you saw until now is just a glimpse, meaning it's not the entire flow. So it's not that easy that Alexa said done and it's everything done. Alexa will just also ask you, is it fine for you? This is the price. Do you want to check out and so on? But for convenience, we just cut it just to show you what we did. We have the entire movies and the full movies on our website. So you are welcome to watch the entire uh, flows. Uh, if I could add uh, something from the technical point of view, uh, we have seen uh, a lot of cool features, but uh, under the hood there is uh, always someone who has to develop it. Uh, so 
considering the fact that there is so much uh, chatbot technologies on the market, uh, the, po the uh, point of entrance into those technologies is pretty high. Uh, another problem is uh, about time to market. Usually we want such uh, chatbot to be developed uh, pretty quick. Uh, that's why uh, in our project we developed something called generic chatbot framework. Uh, right now it's integrated with uh, commonly used uh, chatbot technologies like Dialogflow and Amazon Alexa. Uh, so uh, uh, the huge advantage of the framework is the fact that uh, it allows the developer uh, to uh, create uh, uh, something like agnostic chatbot. He doesn't have to care about specific technology, he's just uh, implementing uh, uh, the business value, so, so the most important thing. Uh, and the second advantage is, of course, about time to market. If we don't have to learn too much technologies, we can do this in pretty agnostic way. Uh, we are uh, pretty good with, with timing. Sure. We try to be very fast, and hopefully we covered pretty much what we wanted to tell you today. So we thank you all for being together with us in this journey that we just uh, present to you. And uh, hopefully we will see you also in the future and present you new features that we are going to develop. So, thank you. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Seba. Um, are there any questions from the audience? I know I'm looking forward to making this the norm in traveling. <laughs> Um, I'm going to throw it, hopefully. <laughs> okay. that was Thank fun. you. Yeah. Um, you want to, to en enhance the customer e experience, and uh, I think one of the biggest customer experience would be if you have a door-to-door -door system, which involves multiple tra transportation systems, meaning Uber, cabs, or buses, railways. So how is the uh, integration? Sure. So this is part of the roadmap, hopefully, yes. And this is the flexibility that we were mentioning when saying that it's the platform, the e-commerce platform, and how um, Sebastian was mentioning that we want to make our um, software, custom software, the extension that we build on top, open for third-party systems, this is one of them. So integration with Uber, with hotels, with any other third-party providers, it's easy to be done. And of course, on our roadmap. Yeah, so and from technical point of view, of course, we are able to handle this. Uh, we can handle uh, different transport operators and different means of transport. Uh, so it's in our roadmap, it's a matter of implementation, but, but we are pretty prepared for it from the architecture point of view. <laughs>